right so uh as we all know uh making thumbnails is not easy okay so i'm gonna be teaching you guys today how to make thumbnails so uh yeah that's cool all right anyway so none of this is honestly like this is all pretty easy stuff so just copy what i do and then you should be good and all the stuff is free yeah and all the links will be in the description below so just download everything and then yeah we all good all right okay let, let, let's uh let's go all right so first i'm sure you all have uh, roblox studio also this is a pc tutorial by the way if you couldn't tell this is only on pc all right anyway so yeah you need your roblox studio open and then in the description there's gonna be a load character plugin okay so just like yeah install that and then there's gonna be a load character thingy here all right now just type in like the username of like the character you want like yeah this is mine and then spawn r6 okay all right now you see this weird outline thing yeah if you have any like layered clothing it might glitch out like mine so just like uh on the right there's gonna be like an explorer thingy and just open it and then uh, here, just go to the outline and delete it. All right, so after that, you gotta all right, hold control and then click these like uh, wizard hat thingies. Right click and then export selection. And then now just like save it somewhere. All right, so now that you've saved it on your computer, okay, now just delete the accessories and then you got the torso. And then uh, just do the same with the torso, just export the torso. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's go to Blender, all right? All right, so all the links will be in the description, but uh, there's gonna be like a file and the one you wanna open is faceless.blend, all right? So once you install the uh blender after you install the blender uh install rig downloader okay or like the rig download thing and then you're gonna have two different files okay now just open the faceless one okay it's just it's easier that way all right so now yours isn't gonna look like this yours is gonna look fully gray just ignore how this looks like so basically what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to click on one of the like uh arms okay and then click like on the material so on this little circle thing you can like click on it and then minus and then it's gone right it's white do this do this all right so now we do that base color image texture all right now open now go find the uh one that that you know anyway so now that you've
random background, okay? Okay, actually, no, this background sucks. Alright, so since this is a tutorial, uh, I'm just gonna add some, like, logos, you know? To find, like, anything, just look it up on Google, and then you should be good. Just copy the image and just paste it, and then that's all you really need to do. It's pretty simple. And then you can, like, scale it down. Alright, now to change the uh, order, just, like, on the right here, you can just, like, you know, change that, and that's, that works. Alright, so now we have all these things, right? Now, to make this look slightly better, we can add drop shadow. So, we could just add drop shadow to everything, and then slightly space them out like that. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so now for the background I did for this one, it's actually pretty easy. Just click on this pencil thing, and then uh, click, 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 click. There, we got a big shape. Now, right click, blending options, color overlay, and then choose the color, alright? So, right now, I kinda, I'm going for like a blue. So, we can go blue, alright? Now, this looks really bad. So you just drag it all the way back here. Now, uh, I'll make this work, bro. Trust me. And then the background. Uh, so the background color, go to right-click, blending options, color overlay. Now, don't make it the same color as the other one. So I'm going to make it like black. Yeah, I'm going to make it yellow. I think that looked good. Now, obviously, this still looks kind of goofy. So uh, we want to add a drop shadow to the uh, shape number one that we just made. Drop shadow right there. Okay. Size. Scale it down a bit. There you go. All right. Okay. Now that looks much better. Now, let's scale this down a bit uh all right okay that's good all right i think i like that okay so next for the text you can just click text if you want to have custom fonts just like you know load fonts from your computer yeah just click with the t and then you got like a text layer so let's just uh how to make all right so that's pretty cool all right so now we we can upscale this yeah now this looks like really bad because like the colors aren't like working with each other so we can either do a stroke to make it like pop out more or we can just change the color and have a stroke which is what i'm gonna do yeah let's make this purple why not bro all right so for this now this looks way too thick right so depth just like make it like a lot less well you don't have to make it like a lot less just make it like less if that makes sense and the size you can make it less and then now that looks way cleaner you're gonna need to do a lot of adjusting because nothing is perfect. Now when you feel like you're happy enough with, you know, the results you've got, you can now add adjustment layers to change the colors. So you can just click this and then like, I don't know. For example, you want to change the vibrance, you can, you know, change the vibrance of the entire thing. Or if you don't want to do that, you're gonna select a single layer, like for example this. Go to image, adjustments, and then you can adjust all the things here, like brightness, contrast. Just changes the brightness and contrast, which is pretty simple. So yeah, just play around yourself. So now once you're done, you're gonna want to go to the top left to click file export as png then uh just click save and then you should be all good all right i hope this helped please like subscribe and share and uh, peace